With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is to use the table given below and draw the graph and then from the graph we have to find the values of A and B. We also have to state a linear relation between the variables X and Y. So firstly we will draw our graph. So we have drawn our graph. This is our Y axis and this is our X axis. Here we will plot our points that are given to us. So first point is minus 5 comma minus 2. So our X is minus 5 and our Y is minus 2. So this point will be minus 5 comma minus 2. Next is 3 comma 2. So this will be our 3 and 2 will be here. So this will be 3 comma 2 and this is 17 sorry 13 comma 7. So this is our 13. So this will be our 7. This point will be 13 comma 7. If we connect these points we will see that they will all lie on the same line. So this is our line. Now we will plot our points that are variables. So our first point is minus 1 comma a. So we have our x to be minus 1. We see that this point here which intersects on our line this point will become minus 1 comma a and we have b comma 5. So our y is equal to 5 which is here. So if we extend this to our line we see that it will lie somewhere here. So our point is 5 b comma 5 so now my graph is not up to the scale but when you will draw it on the graph you see that you will be able to identify these points a and b so from there you will get that your point minus 1 comma a will be equal to minus 1 comma 0 so from here you will get the value of a to be 0 and this point b will be we see that if we extend this here it will be 9 so we will get the value of b comma 5 to be equal to 9 comma 5 from here we will get the value of b to be 0 now we are to find the relation between x and y so we have a equation of line which is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 multiplied by x minus x1 so here if we consider two points we can take the points which are already given to us let's say we are taking 3 comma 2 and 13 comma 7 so our x1 comma y1 will be equal to 3 comma 2 and we will have our x2 comma y2 to be equal to 13 comma 7 so if we put these values in the equation we see that we will get y minus 2 is equal to 7 minus 2 divided by 13 minus 3 multiplied by x minus 3 which will be equal to 5 divided by 10 multiplied by x minus 3 this will cancel out and become 2 now if we cross multiply we will get 2y minus 4 to be equal to y minus 3 so from here the value of 2y will be equal to x plus 1 so therefore our value of y will be equal to x plus 1 divided by 2 so therefore this is the relation between our x and y and this is our required answer for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today